morning everybody and thanks for taking the time to check out this check-in video so uh, I spoke briefly uh, about wanting to release a interim update a uh, 1.6 um, that kind of has all the things that I've already fixed or updated in input mapper uh, one uh, so far but um, a couple of the other things like redoing the whole macro UI and uh, getting my hardware uh, library implemented it is going to be a little bit more time consuming so I'm going to I'm going to patch that in after I get this one out um, because there are a lot of features in this that I think are pretty cool and that people are probably looking forward to um, including among other things uh, it's going to have the uh, the script for the Windows uh, 10 anniversary update uh, issue with the controllers that's going to be built into it um, as well as the newest version of the Scarlet Crush uh, virtual bus drivers and a new um, install script for them that streamlines things uh, even further. So um, I'm going to pop over here and uh, and I'm going to, just for demonstration, um, one of the biggest things that causes input mapper to not recognize controllers is if this driver here doesn't install for some reason. So, for shits and giggles, we're going to go ahead and 86 that. Uh, just pretend that, in fact, uh, didn't install or a Windows update knocked it off or something like that, uh, which is all pretty common. And I'm going to go ahead and fire up my developer version. And you're going to see the warning in the bottom right, could not start the virtual bus or virtual bus is not installed, which is correct. So we're going to go ahead and then we, we also have a pop-up box here that it's not installed or configured correctly. So we go ahead and hit OK there. Uh, this pop-up run, this pop-up is just because I'm running this off of a network drive, so you wouldn't get this. Um, and then this is our new install script. It goes through its thing, and that's it. As simple as that. Uh, you don't have to worry about what configuration or settings or anything you have to do in the SCP uh, installer. Uh, see, there it is. It's all up and running. I also have uh, my new news feed in here is working um, that in fact that's that's what was holding me back uh, because the I was using just like a little web browser in here and uh, at some point over the past week or two that web browser was depreciated and you couldn't use it anymore as a control so I had to write my own thing for it but it's neither here nor, nor there uh, so now um, yeah, so now that the SCP uh, driver is installed in the background, Input Mapper will work fine on its own. And another thing is that as soon as I launched Input Mapper, that exclusive mode script ran in the background and silent, and it ran without needing a UAC uh, prompt. So um, that means, you know, if under normal operation, I'll click out of this, and uh, I'll launch it again. And again, this is just because it's running off of the network, uh, so ignore that. But the application starts up, and it's running the uh, the script in the background, and then that's it. Um, all without you know user interaction, pop-up boxes, anything like that that would take you off the couch. So, go ahead and start up my controller here. And there you go, exclusive mode. I don't know if you could see the box quick enough, but yeah, the uh, the controller started up exclusive mode. Um, so uh, I still hope Windows uh, fixes the issue on their end, so we don't have to rely on this workaround for too much longer, because um, it does suck having to cycle the hardware uh, state every time that we want to you know, use a controller or something like that. So, uh, let's see, beyond that, uh, we have our new news screen. Um, 
our profiles now. If you're using a profile, you see I'm using new profile one. Let's go ahead and just edit that. Um, if you make changes, you don't get all those annoying errors anymore. It just works. The changes work. So, uh, yeah, the, I mean, this thing is almost ready to release. The only issue I'm having right now is the uh, user account stuff isn't integrating correctly. Uh, I'm trying to use too much of the old code, so I think I might just have to wipe all the old stuff and just completely replace it with the new one that I've been writing uh, that's an input mapper two that I know that works. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just completely swap everything out instead of trying to bring this one up to uh, the specs that I have in input mapper two. So um, that's the only thing that's holding me back right now. Hopefully I can, I mean, that's only probably a couple, if I put my head down and get into it, probably only like an hour or two worth of work there. So um, I might even be able to get it out today after our Tipsy Tuesday. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it for Info, Input Mapper here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's coming along really good. Hope I can get it out today. Um, new installer and everything's coming with it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm about to uh, swap all my equipment over here for today's Tipsy Tuesday. Um, probably going to play some more Star Citizen because uh, we got a couple new ships to check out there. And uh, I don't know what else I'll do. I'll... Uh, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time in Star Citizen, I guess. There are a couple other places that we can check out in the solar system. Uh, maybe I'll jump into some uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 or, uh, I don't know, maybe Watch Dogs or something, too. I've, but, uh, yeah, okay. Come back and check that out.